In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're going to go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Today our journey begins on State Route 78, driving through the vibrant grasslands of New Mexico. Up ahead is the Big Blue Mountains and a dramatic entry into Arizona. As you crest the summit, the incredible views will take your breath away. Stop at the first available vista point to take it all in because the next 15 miles will twist and turn, dropping you thousands of feet in elevation until you reach the valley floor. Today we are in Arizona, outside of the town of Safford, just off Highway 191, and we're staying here on some BLM land. 14 day stay limit, free camping. What brings us here is mail. So being on the road, we always struggle to get any kind of packages or mail sent to us. Um, it usually uh, takes a lot of planning. So we pre-planned and sent, had packages sent here ahead of time and one of them has arrived and that is calendars and if you've been watching the last couple of videos carrie has been advertising about her calendars coming out well they are here and we're going to be going into town picking them up today but i just wanted to thank everybody that has pre-ordered a calendar and just tell you that i appreciate it and i know carrie does too because carrie really spends a lot of time at work getting these pictures over the years and loves to share them. And just by you buying a calendar, it really means a lot to her. So we're gonna get these calendars. We're gonna package them up, get them addressed, hopefully mail them off soon so people can have them in time for Christmas or at least before next year. And also we have a project package coming in. And I'm not sure if we'll have time to get that all put together uh, in this video, but at least we'll get some planning done, let you know what we got going on. And there's lots to do. But this area is well known for a lot of things. And one of those is rock hounding, um, surrounded by mountains. There's lots of mines, um, rivers, canyons, and a lot to explore. So our time here, I don't think is gonna be wasted. And I'm looking forward to doing a lot of exploring as well. So if you've been watching us for a while and you watched the Colorado video, we picked some chairs up about two years ago, year and a half. And we were we had a big debate on whose chair was going to last longer. My Pico armchair or, well, let's just say that that's Carrie's third chair and I still have my Pico armchair. So. Um, I definitely won that competition picking out the best chair. <laughs> it's 
Carrie doesn't like my chair, but I like it. It folds down into a tiny little cube, easy to store, and it's relatively comfortable. And she doesn't even like this chair now, so she's gonna end up probably on number four chair sooner or later. And we've got a brand new table and got a couple of agates on it that we've already found. There seems to be agates everywhere here in Arizona. But um, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna tell you I like it yet because the whole bottom is what feels like a cheap plastic. So we're gonna have to wait and see if it holds up the test of time and see if that's still around in a year and a half. If it makes a year and a half, I'll be shocked. And then we'll let you know what kind it is. Okay, all right. Yep, Rudolph's feet are getting better. He can run on these rocks. Doesn't seem to be hurting his paws, his pads at all this time. Toughen it up, Rudolph. You're toughening it up. All right, no more ball. Yeah, take five. Go take five. Good boy. The calendars are here. The calendars are here. Yeah, so I think it's pretty good timing. If we get into town, grab the calendars, find a place to hold out for a little bit, get them packaged up, maybe get them back in the mail tomorrow. Yeah. We might even get some mail today. That would be cool. That Actually, we should shoot for as many as we can get done and get yeah. them mailed today. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. All right, so we're going to go into town. Dave's going to drone us leaving. Yep. And this is an exciting day. <laughs> Don't let me run over your drone. Yeah, that would be a, say, don't run my drone be a very bad day. Just coming into town to pick up a package. Oh, you had something sent to you? Yes. Oh, how's the weather there? Perfect. Perfect. 68? Yeah. 68 degrees right now. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. <laughs> my best advice for getting packages on the road, call the local copy mail service store. They will usually hold your package for a small fee. So we are carrying, each carrying a box here. All right, our first look at the calendars. What do you think? Yeah, I was a little, wasn't sure about the matte finish, but I think it's good. Yeah, I think it looks great. I like the matte. Well, those are nice looking calendars. Are you at all? Hi, buddy. That's a picture of you. Yeah. All right, we got an assembly line going. Dave's putting our return address on because we didn't order labels in time. Here's our calendars. I'm going to address them. We're going to get as many done as we can today and go get them mailed and then finish it up tomorrow. One done, Dave. Half done. <laughs> <laughs> First batch of calendars are getting mailed off today. Brutal. Rudel's excited about it. I guess so. <laughs> no bark, Rudel.
You're okay. There is beauty in the desert if you look for it, and where there is water, there are critters. Some large, and some small. Welcome visitors and some not so welcome visitors. That is my phone cord. Why are you chewing on it? I guess it's better that than the engine. He's not even scared of me. That's not right. Knock it off! Knock it off! Why are you chewing on that? Can you whack him? We've met some new friends out here, Ron and Rhonda. So he's got these uh, solar lights. And there's a wire that goes to him and a controller that controls them. And he came out in the morning and the wire was stretched out. He coiled it up here. But something had bit off the end of it just completely chewed it up and he had traps on his tire mouse traps and two of them are missing so we're taking a little walk around the parameter here taking a look and well we found one of the traps I got to show you where it's at here somewhere over here okay so here's one of the mouse traps whatever it was it carried it over here and there's still one missing and i don't know what size you know varmint has to, is uh, takes to carry a trap but there's a fresh hole right here the hole doesn't look that giant so i i just don't know what it is we're gonna maybe it's a pack rat so there's one trap and then we walked over here just doing a perimeter search and found his controller And these little marks, something was chewing on it. And the wire went in right here where my thumb is and that's what it chewed off. But that's just a solar light. So it carried this all the way from their van over here. So this makes me wanna put like a nighttime camera out just to see what's going on. Um, Ron's still looking for the other trap so be aware that, uh, so we're full blown mouse ready out here as far as we can. We we're using, we got the hood open so it stays light. We got lights on the, all the way around the perimeter of the van that we left on last night. Uh, we've got peppermint spray inside the engine compartment. We have captured two mice already with our traps inside the van. What'd you find? A giant agate. It's not like the best one I've ever found, but it is giant. It is
You scared the cows away, Rudolph. <laughs> you scared them all away. All right, I think we're gonna pack up, head into town, pick up our last little bit of mail, and then some project parts, and get back on the road. Uh, Ron and Rhonda, they're, I think they're gonna look for a new spot after their experience with the rodent. And uh, I think they've got another place in mind that they've stayed at before here. But it's just not worth taking the chance of getting something chewed up, especially in, in the electrical department of your vehicle my favorite thing about this location is just that it's wide open it's a big area where you can meet other people and it's close to town yes and the 360 view of the mountains all the way around is pretty amazing plus the rock hounding is not bad here we found yep. some interesting agates yep. okay so what do you need to know about this location so we're two miles off the highway. That means you cannot hear any cars go by. Super quiet. Yes. Um, like I said earlier, it's a big area. Any size vehicle can come out here. Any any amount of clearance. Yep. Any size vehicle. We're only seven miles away from the town of Safford. So if you have business in town like we did, we've been picking up mail. Um, this is a perfect location to stay. And there's dozens of sites. So if you put in the coordinates for this site where we're staying, you're going to see, you know, a dozen places yeah. that you could stay on the way in. Um, we will say there are no amenities. There's no trash, uh, no water. There's good cell signal. There is. We're getting <laughs> T-Mobile and Verizon. Yes. So strong signals here, making yeah. it very nice. There are fire rings, but I'm going to say you're going to have to bring your own wood. And there's not much to burn out here and you're going to want to check your fire restrictions yeah, for the area for sure um uh, so safford is only about 10 miles away and we found it to be just a great town to have packages delivered to yes so it makes it real convenient for staying here maybe exploring the area picking up some packages making this your home base absolutely there is a lot to explore in this area alone so if you have a big rig I would suggest you check out the BLM on Heckle, Heckle, Heckle Road. And I did want to say, maybe don't pick your first site because when we came in, some of the sites closer to the road had quite a bit of broken glass. Yeah. So if you're traveling with your pets, come, get out, scout out the area before you let them out. Um, this site we're in here, there is hardly, I don't think I saw any broken glass. No, no, it's clean out here. It's clean. There's really not even any trash. So the broken glass is your biggest concern. There are a lot of coyotes. So if, don't let your pets out at night and let them wander off leash. Yep. Keep an eye on your small pets. Um, I did want to say that Roper State Park is about 15 miles away. So if you're looking for a place to dump your tanks or get water, or maybe take showers, get rid of your trash. Um, I found that pretty convenient. Some of the places are, sites are as cheap as $20 a night. Yeah, you will need to pay uh, at least for one night of camping to use all of those facilities. They don't cater that to day use yep. only. Um, we went and checked that out for sure. Do be aware that like any other place in Arizona, there are rodents here. Yes. So bring every all your arsenal here because you're going to need it. Yes, bring every mouse deterrent, pack rat deterrent and use them all. Yeah, if you're used to camping the winter times in the Southwest, you probably already know. But if you're new to it, you're gonna have to prepare for that. You don't want mice going in your engine compartment and chewing up wires and causing all kinds of havoc. Yeah, you saw how quickly that mouse chewed up my phone cord yep. on the dash with me looking at him. So yeah, definitely for sure. I think that's it. That's it. All right, well, we appreciate you watching our video and a big thank you out to our patrons and all of our subscribers. Yes. Thank you. I don't know if you can read what this says. It says, shit matters. <laughs> and we're pretty excited about what is in this box. We can't wait to show you. 
If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron.